Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this month's challenge video. This month I am doing the monochrome challenge and this is where you basically take lots of grayscale markers and make a picture out of it. So I'm using a mixture of markers here because in my Electroset Pro marker set I don't actually have a full set of greys. I'm using a spectrum, uh, set of Spectrum Noir, some Copic Sketch, some Electroset Pro markers, my uh, Pentel White um, Pencil gel pen, uh, the Pentel pocket brush pen and uh, my WH Smith pencils to sketch and deepen certain areas. So you guys might have seen in my previous videos I've been doing a bird theme and at this one I was very excited about. I wanted to do magpies. Magpies are one of my favourite birds. Um, I love the colours and I love the iridescence of the wings because they have like lots of blues and greens and purples mixed in the wings and I absolutely love them. So the idea with these challenges is what you want to do is you want to build up light. If you start off light and you can build up your darker areas and make it go as you, uh, you know, darken up areas as you go along. And it is really a wonderful challenge to do and this is where you learn a lot about colour values, especially with the grayscale challenge. So if anyone does want to try it out, please do. I would love to see your examples and I want to see what you guys do with these challenges. Um, I want to know what your approaches are. Mine is I like to go for very bold colours. So with the monochrome, I knew that she had to have long black hair um, and give her an almost oriental feel to her facial structure and to her almost like the way she is and basically what I'm doing is I am building up my layers with the, with the markers and then going on top with the pencils to deepen areas and lighten certain areas by using a black, a grey and a white colour. Um, the things I like about this illustration is I like the, I do like some of the birds, I don't like all of them. I think two of them turned out better than the other two and they are the ones in the hands. Uh, the reason why I wanted to add four birds is because of the nurse which goes one for sorrow, two for joy, three for girl, four for boy, five for silver, six for gold, and seven for a secret never to be told. And I was going to do seven and I just couldn't fit them all in um, because I felt it would have like overdone the illustration. So I decided to go for four. So as if it's almost a message to her to someone that she loves that the boy that she loves, the, these are like she's almost trying to send a message to them and I can imagine that she would be a magpie uh, gatekeeper and magpies in, are in a lot of common folklore actually um, I do really love magpies I, as I said I like the colours and everything um, but we get them quite a lot in England and I just know that there are different types of magpies I believe in Japan they have a magpie which is almost like the opposite colour scheme which is mainly black and they are very, very interesting. They are from the crow family as well, because originally I was on an army between whether or not doing doves, crows, or magpies. And I decided that magpies was the best of both worlds um, because it covers both areas. Um, they weren't too dark, they weren't too light, and they've got more of an interesting wing shape to them, and their legs are really cute and spiny, and they're just oh, they're so, so cute. Absolutely love them. Um, they are very intelligent as well, my pies, and I just, I think they are absolutely beautiful creatures, and I cannot, you know, get enough of them. <laughs> That's enough of me talking about my pies and gushing over them. So I did like this piece. My whole sort of plan was to try and keep it simple, but let the imagery speak for itself. And I believe out of all the challenges, I think this one is my favourite. Um, and I think it's just because of the simplicity of it. It's not too over complicated. Um, the parrot one is probably my second favourite. But the way I'm going to do it is with them, I've got two extreme close-ups that I've done so far. Two mid-range and then this one's quite far out so I reckon my next one I want quite far out as well. So then the whole challenges will kind of flow nicely together. Uh, so if you guys like this sort of thing, let me know, like, let me know what you want to challenge you guys want to see. Yeah, I do have a lot of requests for the tertiary colour challenge and for the neon colour challenge. 
Um, I've had a few problems with the neon, uh, trying to get them to blend so far. Uh, but I think I have an idea, I just need to work out what third I need to do. And the tertiary, it's going to be very similar, I feel, to the secondary colour challenge that I've already done. And if you guys haven't seen these challenges, I will link them down below. I am really, really enjoying doing these challenges. And I find it's really a lot of fun to be able to challenge your palette. Because by restricting yourself with your palette, you are forcing yourself to go out of your comfort zone. And I love doing grayscale stuff, which is why the monochrome challenge was probably one of my favourite to do. It took on roughly, I'd say about an hour and a half to do from start to finish. There's Bella, <laughs> she's come to say hi again. I had to keep on stopping and starting while I was filming because she keeps on getting in the way of the camera. She's been a little monkey at the moment. She always wants attention when I'm drawing. But no, with the um, challenges, they are a lot of fun. I suppose because you are so limited in your palette, the only thing I really wanted to do was I wanted to just give a pop of colour onto maybe a little bit pink or on the lips and the cheek, you know, just to brighten the imagery out or um, maybe past all the background because that would just make her stand out so much more. Um, but that's the good thing about these challenges is you're learning your limits uh, with the colours that you've been given. So which is why I recommend if anyone wants to do any of the challenges, start off light and then work out darker because that way you can work out how you want it. So here's my final illustration. I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And here is a look at the other challenges I've done, which is the sepia colour challenge, which I will link down below. There's my pastel colour challenge, which will be linked down below. My secondary colour and of course my primary. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see next, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any um, challenges you've done you want to check out, let me see them. And as always, stay creative.